Birdon with Grafzenbeer. So the ton is a castle the stub the size of a butt. And is equal to eight barrels and has a capacity of 252 imperial gallons. Now that's sale for you. So let's go up the bear barrel, shall we? We start by measuring out 25 millimeters on three wooden plugs and cut them in pieces. Sand the ends and glue the plugs together. When dried, take a piece of foil and wrap it so it gets a little rounder in shape. When this too has dried, it's time to get the green stuff out of the box. Don't forget to lubricate, green stuff is sticky. Start by wrapping the plug in a thin layer of super sculpey. Cut a thin piece Attach in the middle to give the barrel a figure. When you are happy with the shape, bake it in the oven. Now it's time to sand the barrel to perfect shape. Sand it also make it easier for the clay to stick. Roll the barrel into a thin layer of super sculpture. Make sure it sticks. To do the wooden veins, I found that the ordinary needle do a great job. When you are satisfied, bake it. Take a soft toothbrush, clean the surface. Take a thin piece of sculpey and attach to one end. Remember, sand for better stickiness. Pick up the ordinary needle again. Satisfied with the wood veins? Bake. Time to make the front edge of the barrel. Cut a thin strip and stick on the edge. And when the metal strip with bolts in place, don't forget to make the wood veins on the ends before you bake it. Now let's turn the barrel. 
and attach the bottom in the same way. Attach a flat piece of clay and work in the veins with the ordinary needle. Bake. Metal strip the bottom. Same procedure as before. Do not forget the bolts, otherwise the strip will loosen and the barrel will start to leak. Bake. The center of the barrel should have one, two or even three metal strips. It's all a matter of taste. I made two that were a little thinner to secure the bear properly. Bake. Time to do the tap. Take a piece of steel wire and bend the end to an angle. Glue a slightly angled steel wire piece to the top. This is our amateur. Take some green stuff and wrap around for the sculpin to stick on. Cut the tap according to your own taste. Bake. Put a little plug of clay where the tap should sit. Drill a hole. Makes it easier to attach when done. Don't forget a plug on the top of the barrel where the beer is poured in for storage. Bake. Time to sculpt the barrel rack. Here I have a simple mold that is 2 mm deep. Take the piece, cut the side shape, make some wood veins and bake. Make 3 more. Sand it and check fit before gluing. Don't forget the sides. Sculpt two beams to attach the rack, make it more sturdy, use green stuff. And remember, if you are happy with the sculpture, make a mold of it, cast a few pieces and put the original in a little box and hide it, just in case you need to make a new mold later due to causes. They call it a barrel of beer. Barrel of ale, a keg, ale keg, leave in a bear keg, a keg or bear cask, cask of ale, a damn bear barrel is what it is. And remember, as always, bear on and craft. Cheers! A ton, but hogshead, barrel.